Welcome back, film enthusiasts. Today, we delve into the intriguing world of actors who have bid farewell to the silver screen in our video on actors who won't act anymore. Join us as we uncover the reasons behind their decisions to step away from the spotlight, leaving fans longing for their captivating performances. From retired legends to unexpected career shifts, we'll explore the paths these talented individuals have chosen outside of acting. Daniel Day-Lewis Daniel Day-Lewis' name carries echoes of unparalleled dedication. Renowned for his immersive method acting, he transformed himself into his characters, living and breathing their lives. This intensity brought him three Best Actor Oscars for There Will Be Blood, Lincoln, and Phantom Thread, solidifying his position as one of the greatest living actors. Whether embodying the ruthless oil tycoon in There Will Be Blood or the introspective president in Lincoln, Day-Lewis' performances transcended mere acting, becoming unforgettable experiences. But in 2017, the curtain closed on Day-Lewis' acting career. The emotional toll of his method took its toll, and he sought solace in a quieter life. He mentioned a newfound passion for woodworking, allowing him to create with his hands in a different way. Gene Hackman Gene Hackman's intense gaze and captivating performances captured audiences for decades. He earned two Academy Awards, Best Actor for French Connection and Best Supporting Actor for Unforgiven, showcasing his range and depth. From the gritty Popeye Doyle in French Connection to the complex Clint Eastwood in Unforgiven, Hackman embodied characters with nuanced authenticity, leaving lasting impressions. In 2004, Hackman announced his retirement, seeking a new path. He yearned to explore his passion for writing, crafting novels that allowed him to express himself in a different way. Frustration with Hollywood's changing landscape also played a role in his decision. He relishes his quiet life away from the cameras, content with the fulfilling chapters he has written both on and off screen. Rick Moranis Rick Moranis brought laughter to countless households with his hilarious roles in films like Ghostbusters, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and Spaceballs. His comedic timing and unique charm made him a beloved family favorite. Whether playing the quirky scientist in Ghostbusters or the lovable dad in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, Moranis had a knack for making audiences erupt in laughter. However, in 1997, tragedy struck his life with the passing of his wife. Choosing to prioritize his children, Moranis stepped away from acting, dedicating himself to their upbringing. While acknowledging the demanding nature of Hollywood, he emphasizes the importance of family and his personal fulfillment in raising his children. Jack Nicholson Jack Nicholson's career is a tapestry woven with iconic characters and unforgettable performances. From the menacing Jack Torrance in The Shining to the Joker's anarchic laughter in Batman, Nicholson brought raw intensity and captivating depth to each role. His five Academy Award nominations and three wins Best Actor for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Best Supporting Actor for Terms of Endearment, and As Good As It Gets stand as testaments to his exceptional talent. Yet, in recent years, Nicholson's screen appearances have become rarer. While rumors of health issues have swirled, he hasn't explicitly confirmed them. Instead, he seems to have retreated from the limelight, seeking privacy and creative freedom outside the Hollywood machine. He reportedly spends time enjoying art, writing, and immersing himself in the Los Angeles Lakers games. Michael Caine Michael Caine's voice, smooth as London fog and laced with dry wit, has become synonymous with British cinema. From the working-class charm of Alfie to the gruff Alfred Pennyworth in Batman, Caine effortlessly embodied diverse characters earning two Academy Awards Best Supporting Actor for Hannah and Her Sisters and Little Miss Sunshine. His decades-long career spans genres, showcasing his adaptability and enduring talent. Despite his age, Kane hasn't entirely abandoned acting. He continues to take on selective roles, appearing in films like King of Thieves and The Hustle. However, he has shifted his focus towards theater, a medium he cherishes for its live interaction with audiences. He also enjoys spending time with his family and grandchildren, finding joy in quieter moments away from the cameras. Harrison Ford Harrison Ford's face is synonymous with adventure. 
From the daring smuggler Han Solo in Star Wars to the whip-cracking Indiana Jones, Ford embodied iconic heroes, becoming a household name and box office draw. His performances transcended action roles, as he delivered nuanced portrayals in films like Witness and Blade Runner. Two Academy Award nominations cemented his acting prowess. While Ford still takes on projects like the recent Indiana Jones 5, the frequency of his appearances has decreased. He seems to be prioritizing personal pursuits, enjoying time with his family and exploring his passion for aviation. He has spoken about the changing landscape of Hollywood and his preference for smaller, character-driven roles. Pierce Brosnan Pierce Brosnan's suave demeanor and effortless charm made him the quintessential James Bond for a generation. His five-film run as the iconic agent revitalized the franchise, bringing a sophisticated coolness to the role. However, Brosnan's talents extended beyond Bond. He showcased his dramatic range in films like The Tailor of Panama and The Thomas Crown Affair, proving his depth as an actor. After stepping down as Bond, Brosnan continued to act, taking on diverse roles in television and film. He has embraced independent projects and explored new artistic avenues, including painting and music. His recent portrayal of Dr. Fate in Black Adam demonstrates his willingness to venture outside his comfort zone. He seems to be enjoying a new chapter in his career, prioritizing artistic fulfillment over box office success. Cameron Diaz Cameron Diaz's infectious smile and bubbly personality lit up the screen for decades. From the hilarious Nadia in The Mask to the charming Annie in Sleepless in Seattle, she captivated audiences with her comedic timing and effortless charm. She showcased her dramatic range in films like Vanilla Sky and Being John Malkovich, proving her versatility as an actress. In 2014, after starring in Annie, Diaz stepped away from acting. Several factors contributed to this decision. She had expressed a desire to focus on her personal life, including marriage and motherhood. Additionally, she mentioned feeling dissatisfied with certain aspects of Hollywood culture. Diaz has since embraced a quieter life, focusing on writing, philanthropy, and her family. While rumors of a return to acting occasionally surface, she seems... Meg Ryan Meg Ryan's relatable charm and vulnerability made her the queen of romantic comedies in the 90s. Films like When Harry Met Sally, Sleepless in Seattle, and You've Got Mail solidified her as America's sweetheart, captivating audiences with her genuine portrayals. Beyond rom-coms, she delivered powerful performances in films like When a Man Loves a Woman and Courage Under Fire, showcasing her dramatic range. While Ryan hasn't entirely abandoned acting, her appearances have become less frequent. She has shifted her focus towards directing and producing, taking control of her artistic narrative. Films like Ithaca and Inhale demonstrate her growing interest in behind-the-scenes involvement. Additionally, she prioritizes raising her children and enjoys a private life outside the spotlight. Glenn Close Glenn Close is a force of nature on screen, effortlessly transforming into diverse characters. From the ruthless Alex Forrest in Fatal Attraction to the dignified Joan Crawford in Mommy Dearest, she delivers mesmerizing performances, earning seven Academy Award nominations. Her stage work is equally acclaimed, solidifying her reputation as a theatrical powerhouse. Close, now, shows no signs of slowing down. While she may not maintain the same pace as her earlier years, she continues to take on challenging roles in film, television, and theater. In 2023, she starred in the TV series Tehran and the film Swan Song, showcasing her unwavering commitment to her craft. Close's dedication to pushing boundaries and exploring complex characters ensures her continued relevance and artistic influence. Kim Basinger Kim Basinger's sultry beauty and captivating presence catapulted her into stardom. Her portrayal of Vicky Vale in Batman and Domino Patachi in Never Say Never Again cemented her status as a Hollywood icon. Yet, Basinger yearned for more than just glamorous roles. She delivered powerful performances in films like L.A. Confidential and Leaving Las Vegas, earning an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress in the latter. In the early 2000s, Basinger's screen appearances became less frequent. 
Several factors contributed to this, including legal battles and a desire for privacy. She focused on raising her daughter and explored other creative avenues, including photography and music. In recent years, she has made selective returns to acting, appearing in Grudge Match and The Nice Guys. Bridget Bardot Bridget Bardot's iconic status as the sex kitten of French cinema began with her provocative role in And God Created Woman. Her sensuality and defiance of societal norms captivated audiences, making her a symbol of youthful rebellion and sexual liberation. Yet, Bardot craved more than just being objectified. She delivered nuanced performances in films like Viva Maria and Contempt, showcasing her dramatic potential. In the 1970s, Bardot began to distance herself from acting, disillusioned by the industry's demands and seeking creative control. She dedicated herself to animal welfare activism, founding her own foundation and using her platform to advocate for animal rights. Although she made occasional screen appearances, her focus shifted entirely to activism after 1973. Emma Thompson Emma Thompson's sharp wit and captivating performances have earned her international acclaim. From the hilarious Vivian Banks in Nanny McPhee to the poignant Margaret Schlegel in Howard's End, she effortlessly tackles diverse roles, garnering two Academy Awards Best Actress for Howard's End and Best Adapted Screenplay for Sense and Sensibility. Her stage work is equally celebrated, solidifying her as a multifaceted artist. While Thompson remains active, her screen appearances may not be as frequent as in her earlier years. This reflects her deliberate choices to prioritize specific projects that resonate with her. She actively writes and produces, seeking creative control in stories that challenge and inspire. She also prioritizes personal pursuits like writing novels and advocating for human rights causes. Rene Russo Rene Russo's alluring presence and commanding performances captivated audiences for decades. She brought depth and complexity to roles in films like Lethal Weapon and Tin Cup, solidifying her position as a leading Hollywood actress. Her collaborations with Mel Gibson, both on and off screen, further cemented her public image. In the mid 2000s, Russo's screen appearances became less frequent. While she never officially retired, she chose to prioritize her family life, raising her daughter and enjoying quality time with her husband. She has expressed selective interest in projects that resonate with her, occasionally appearing in films like Thor and Nightcrawler. Russo's legacy as a captivating actress remains, but her decision to prioritize family reflects her personal values and desire for a private life. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you never miss a new video. I post new videos every day, so you'll always have something new to watch. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I hope you'll come back and watch 